Hey Thomas here, we got Mike on the channel here. Some of you guys already know Mike from previous videos. Now, if you aren't familiar with his background, he's a North American Muay Thai champion. Uh, he's jumped on, shared some of his workouts before. Uh, some of you actually picked up his program. A lot of great comments and stuff saying how well his programs were, kickboxer abs and, and fat shredder kickboxing. And we were going through the comments on some of the last videos and you were asking, you know, what are some good fighting techniques in and this is something I'm curious too. And since we have Mike here, we're at the Critical Bench Compound. I'll just show you real quick. It's pretty amazing here. And we're just playing around, shooting some videos. And I mean, this is something that I, I was curious too. Like for those of us, especially if you're a normal, normal person and, and you're in a real life fight situation, what's one of the best things you can do? And since we have Mike here anyway, Muay Thai champion, what better than to ask him? So what we're gonna do today is, is get Mike's advice, his expertise, and I guess first thing right off the bat, you were telling me a little bit about it, but one of the first things that you were talking about was if you're in that kind of situation, what would you say to, to the guys watching or some of the guys? Well, first, I definitely recommend avoidance because outside of the ring into the real world and the street fight altercation, you don't know what the other person's gonna do many cases you might have friends you might have weapons you might even have a gun and you're just we're all just human so you got to keep that in the back of your mind and the best thing to do in reality is to avoid situations if someone comes and gives you problems give them a compliment you know be really good at conflict resolution that is the number one thing that i always recommend you do because being in a street fight is super unsafe and i never recommend anybody go looking out for it but in a situation where you can't avoid it and the person is coming at you and you need to do something to defend yourself, I'm gonna show you something that I teach in my self-defense courses. It's very easy for you to do. It ensures and maximizes the probability that you protect your essential elements on your body. So, let's get right into it. All right guys, let's demonstrate the best move that I recommend in a self-defense situation. Now, before we get into the move, I'm gonna talk about our human bodies. The most important part on our body is our chin as well as our jawline and a little bit of our temple. The reason why this is the most important is because if you get hit in this area, particularly your chin, what happens is your brain gets rattled and it compresses against the back of your skull. What this does is it triggers a signal from your brain shutting down your body because something is wrong. It's damaging your body and your brain and protection to yourself will shut you down. This is not good in a real situation, real life situation, because what this means is you're gonna collapse and the person will be able to do whatever they want to you. Uh -huh. So you wanna avoid that. If you get hit in your eyes, your nose, the top of the head, it might hurt, you might bleed, but it's not gonna shut you down. So in these situations, you wanna really focus on protecting your chin as well as your temple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine that Thomas and I are in a situation where we stand face to face. Now, we're going to assume that Thomas is the attacker here and I'm the defender. What I'm going to do is I want to keep my eyes looking at his eyes. Because when I look at his eyes, I can use my peripheral vision to look at his shoulders. And if a punch comes, the shoulders are going to be the triggers that tell him. Now, what I want to do in this situation is I never want to stand feet shoulder width apart. In this situation here, I can't ever wind back or escape. What you want to do is you want to take your foot and slide it back into this position because this is now going to allow you to quickly get into your fighting stance. Now what you're going to do is you're going to maintain your eyes on Thomas using your peripherals to look at his shoulders. Then if Thomas makes a move, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, transfer your weight onto your back foot, rotating back, and you're going to shoot your arm up like you're combing your hair. But what you're going to do is tuck your chin down right into your shoulder here, protecting your chin, and you're going to slip back. What's going to happen is if Thomas is attacking me, this movement here is going to protect my chin. At the same time, when I move backwards and shifting my weight, this is going to reduce his power right here. Now, I'm looking through this little triangle of my arm at Thomas here. Now, what I do is when I turn back, I'm actually winding up my right hand. So you're going to turn back as he punches, and you're going to turn and counter with a cross. So what we'll do once again, is we're going to be in this position, we're going to take a step back, and we're going to watch. Now when Thomas makes a move, I'm going to immediately shoot my hand up, step, step back like this, then I'm going to, from here, turn, and right here, looking down the arm, 
right into his chin. And in that situation, you're gonna be able to counter very quickly, and then you wanna run away, you gotta get out of there as quick as you can. All right, so now I'm gonna get Thomas to demonstrate his move. I'm gonna to pretend to be the attacker, and Thomas is gonna be the defender. So what will happen is we'll be in a position here. Thomas is gonna slide his right foot back, to get in that position, and I'll get in my stance too. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna to try to throw a sucker punch at him, and Thomas is gonna bring his hand up right away, and all you're gonna do is imagine that you're transferring your weight onto your back foot while turning your body backwards. Okay. Almost like um, you're cocking up your right hand. Okay. Right? Right, exactly. So I'm gonna throw the punch, you're gonna defend it. You wanna keep your hand nice like this. Okay. Right? Yeah, tight, tight, really tight. Really tight against it because if you have anything loose, it'll still come back and hit you. You wanna have everything literally tucking your chin right up right up against the inside of your shoulder. Okay. Right? And I'm looking through this little triangle here. Okay. Right? So I'm gonna do this. Boom. You're going to lean back. Hold it. Lean back. Lean back. Good. So now, you're winding up your right hand. Now what you're going to do is pivot your right foot and your upper body, throwing that straight cross out. I Boom. see right there. Yeah. Okay. That's a good, just good motion of practice. Yeah. So the motion would look like this. Right? It would be one, two. Yeah. And when you get in this position here, your weight is on your rear foot. What you're going to do is pivot. Right? Okay. Pivot your whole body, driving through like that. Okay. Right? So that's something to just work on. It's just that motion, like he was breaking down. Mm -hmm. Just the pivot and keeping this tight. I was doing that wrong as well. Just show you front angle. It's like here, here. Yeah. So you, what you want to do is you're going to be in this position here. You're going to just transfer and turn your body as you shoot your arm up, and you're going to touch your chin right against kind of like the meaty part of your okay. um, your interior shoulder, and then you can go here, and then just turn back, and yeah. Boom. Okay. And then what you want to do is maintain your eyes on your opponent. So even from when you're looking here, you want to look at him. Because what happens is your punch will naturally land wherever you're looking. And uh, okay. this is going to probably land on his chin. Because what happens is the majority of people will throw a big wild punch like this, right? Yeah. Boom. And then you're going to be defended and then you're going to cross. Yeah, okay. And you're constant. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That, that's something for me I would need to practice on just like in the mirror or something. Is, it's really, and those techniques you just talked about, so it's second nature. Yeah, so you need to practice this, right? You need to really practice the flip path and cross, because it has to happen very quick, yeah. right? Because that, you only get a split second, really, yeah. to get this move to pull, to work, and it has to happen very quickly. So it's got to be like, pull back, return cross, right away, boom, boom, okay. right? Because you get that tiny little window, but that window is going to give you that um, yeah. the opening that you need to take your opponent down. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, so awesome to have Mike on the channel. Thanks for those tips on there. I know you probably enjoyed that as well. If you did, make sure to like, leave a comment down below if you want any more tips from Mike. Also, you might notice my hair is a little crazy right now, so like for crazy gingerness. And then if you have any other questions or anything, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and then we'll also leave a link to a workout that you can do from Mike. You can check it out, sign up down below, and we'll see you in the next video.